Okay, let's be honest, we have an issue with the 944. The tracking is completely out, and that is why we're at DGT today to see about getting it all back in shape. Thanks to the lads at DGT to come to our rescue. Hello and welcome to the Backroads and welcome back to Project 944. Today we are at DGT Wheels for an alignment check because we're going to be taking a road trip in the 944 this coming week, which you will see the next following week to this video coming out. So without further ado, I think we'll get straight into things, introducing you to what we're doing and who we're working with. So today we're here with Hayden. Um, he works at DGT Wheels. Do you want to explain a little bit what you do and why it's important? So, yeah, so I'm the alignment technician here. Um, alignment is a very fun thing when it comes to cars, all right? Um, it can make a big difference to handling and things like that. Um, the most important thing is the tire wear. Um, if your alignment is out, it can cause some vigorous tire wear on the car, um, which can lead to blowouts and things like that. Um, another thing it does is improves the handling drastically. Um, you can put like fast road setups and things like that on cars, which can help it perform better on tracks and things like that. Um, you get a world of different cars, sort of like hatchback cars that they can turn into a track purely and simply from aligning the car, which is good. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it really. So as you all know, um, this Project 944 hasn't done anything like this for over 20 years. So. This is going to be really interesting because I'm quite keen to see how far out everything is. It's going to be fun. Or it may surprise us. It may be could, you know, not too all, far out. Could be all in, all in the green. Porsche engineering, days. you see, <laughs> keeps up for that long. So I think what we'll do is we'll get it up on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we get, we'll get the sensors on. So okay. I'll literally I'll raise it a little bit, put the sensors on. Um, I've got to roll it forward. Once I roll it forward, the lovely machine here will tell me exactly what's out, what needs to be done um, and how to do it. Um, and then the fun part from there is trying to get it all straight. Right, well, fingers crossed, it isn't too bad. First things first is to get the car lifted up onto the ramp, ready for testing. DGT use a hunter wheel alignment system which uses sensors and infrared light to accurately detect exactly how far the wheels are out. It's incredibly clever stuff. So in order to do that, sensors need to go on each of the wheels before calibration is possible. Right, so this is the sensor that we use for our hunter machine, okay? Um, we've got one of the upgraded sensors, okay? Um, what that means is um, my clips actually go to the side of the tire rather than at the top and the bottom. Um, what that allows is it's got a little button here um, that allows me to move these clips, which can then tuck either in or out um, to fit underneath the wheel arch, okay? Um, what this sensor also can do is, um, if I ever get any adjustments that's in a real dodgy place, i.e. sort of right by the wheel um, hub, um, I can take the sensor off, uh, attach it onto another sensor um, and actually adjust it with the wheel off, which is really good. Um, other than that, it literally sends a message through to the couple of lights there going back and forwards. Um, it takes the measurement on the roll um, and that's when it gives me all the lovely figures at the moment. Perfect, so now we're going to see how out of alignment the entire car is. That's it. So we've already, um, we've already done the roll through. Um, so it's already taken its measurement. So we'll start off with the rear of the car. Um, so both cameras are sitting a little bit negative, okay? Um, nothing too, too bad. Um, the toes on the rear are within the tolerance, which is good. Um, so moving to the fun part, the front. Oh, um, oh dear. So you've got a couple of adjustments on the front. <laughs> Um, I do believe all of these adjustments are adjustable, which is good. Um, trying to get them back where they need to be is obviously a different question. Yeah, that's, that's not great. Um, you can note it's off the scale. Yeah, so, so the <laughs> tires are actually off oh, the scale. Oh, yeah. Um, which is why they've got the lovely X there. Um, you've got one camera that's sitting a little bit more negative than the other. Um, so it all depends not on idea. what it's like underneath the car. Um, and we'll go ahead and see if we can get the car tracked. Okay. Right, so basically 20 years worth of not being driven, hasn't done it <laughs> that much. Still. Not done it that much justice, no. Yeah. <laughs> not done it that much. While Hayden was on a break, we took a little look around. So while we're here, we thought we'd take a little look around what they've got stock-wise, and there's lots of very, very colourful things, isn't there? There's no free spokes, though. There's no free spokes. I'm very depressed. <laughs> is that a, is that a game, game broker for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually some really lovely choice in here though. I mean, there's some 
I love the BBS style wheels. You, you think that would quite I've been cool. saying if there's wheels to get on the 944, BBS would work because it's your standard Euro aftermarket <laughs> wheel style. I mean, that is true. European yeah. cars, it just, it just works, it just looks good. It's they do look awesome. But also, you've got those meaty ones down there. Horrid. They're horrible. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for myself, you probably want to go close to like these, which are. NK RPF one reps, or similar at least. Something like that, three piece wheel, mm. they look nice. So the wheels there's, there's, there's lots of awesome choice though, I really do. Lots of choice here at DGT. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Yes. <laughs> there's lots of really cool stuff. And this is just upstairs. I mean There's no price tags to, to um, scare me away either. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could just ooh, credit card. No. <laughs> There's so much choice here at DGT, it's very easy to make your wallet lighter. So before that, let's get back to Hayden. Right, so, it's not that bad under here. The rust isn't too bad under here. Um, so, on this little bit here, so on the other side of this big lump of metal, um, you've got a couple of bolts here. Um, two of these bolts allow for the camera adjustment. Um, one of the bolts here, uh, allows for the toe adjustments um, that is on both sides um, which does make it fairly simple it's a little bit ahead of my time but nothing that I uh, shouldn't be able to do which is good um, and that's for the rear on the front um, again um, so you've got your camber adjustment which sits off of these bolts here um, you've also got your caster which does of these bolts here um, and then your bog simple track rod end which pretty much all cars will have um, over here, which doesn't seem too, too bad. Um, so yeah, let's have a crack. Let's get it all uh, oiled up and ready to go. Yeah, let's see how, how much it actually gets or behaves itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, couple of, uh, couple of things that we need to run through, okay, yeah? Um, so coming back to the rear camera and toe adjustments, all right? Um, what I am gonna get you guys to do um, is to replace these bolts on the car, okay? Um, only because they are a little bit rusty on there because of the, uh, the age, unfortunately. Um, and it's going to be really, really difficult for me to actually loosen the bolts um, and get everything in place, all right? Um, so I will get you to guys to replace both the camber and tow bolts um, on each side of the car, both driver and rear. Um, also, um, so the camber is sitting very, very negative on the passenger side, camber. Um, so what I'm going to get you guys to do is to check the shock absorbers just to make sure 100% that they're fit um, and also get you just to do the camber um, and tow bolts just to refresh your bolts again due to age. Um, things can happen, things can tend to snap where they're so rusty and things like that. Um, today I think I'm probably just going to set the tow straight um, which should get the steering wheel nice and straight and the car driving in a nice straight line um, and then once all the bits are done bring it back and we should be able to get everything Perfect. Perfect yeah. So I think pretty much it's just basically an excuse for us to now buy. Mm -hmm. Excuse for you to buy more parts. I'm not spending the money. pushes for the entire suspension and then new bolts to refresh everything. So we just need the bolts for now. We don't need all the bushes. <laughs> we need everything. <laughs> With our readouts understandably in the red, it was now time for Hayden to start making some adjustments to the alignment. In this case, he is adjusting the toe so Project 944 will at least drive straight. Oh, we're nearly in the green. We're nearly in the green. Yes, Whoa! now the camber's just completely off. The camber was already completely oh, off. The, the camber's, yeah, that's, that's no saving that. What it actually does, the heat. Oh yeah, you can see it going red. Literally just a couple of... <laughs> oh my God! Just a couple of seconds on there, man just to free it up a bit. And if you actually look at the figures now, you see it's gone up to negative 15. Yeah. And that's all to do with the heat, which is the reason why you have to cool it down. Um, so let that settle for a little bit. And once the, the light goes, literally put that on there. And hopefully one hand, easy. Oh, easy as. <laughs> easy as. Oh, we need one. I, I We need one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've just seen, yeah. Oh so god, yeah, it's gone down to, it's to 40 now. And obviously that one's now slightly off. Interesting. Yeah, because they, because they work on that steering column. Some, yeah. Like, any adjustment you do on one side is going to affect the other. Some, not all the time, but you see like where it is. Oh yeah, now it's where it is sitting quite a lot out. Yeah. And more to adjust it, sort of come a little bit. That's yeah. really cool. You've got two things on the green now, at least. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> two things. Two. <laughs> 
better than nothing. It is. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This camera. I mean, you can see that. You see, this is out negative, and then the the, the driver side is positive. Uh, no, so they're, they're both sitting negative. However, the passenger side is more negative than what the other one is. By so quite some margin as well. Yes. Like quite some yeah. Margin, yeah. So. <laughs> Um, so essentially, the easiest way to put it is that little black dot there is the manufacture mark. Um, the little black one here is the margin, like the tolerance margin, which should be 35. So you're sitting just under 10 minutes on this side, but you're sitting nearly a whole degree on this side. Yeah. So there is, there is quite a, a bit big, of a, big, yeah. big amount, yeah. Well, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, clearly, we need to do a little bit of work to the car. We need to refresh a few bolts and possibly some bushes here and there as well but thank you ever so much to DGT Wheels there we go got there in the end um, for helping us with the tracking and alignment on this car um, it probably might come back probably possibly um, lots of work but uh, it's getting there so hopefully it should drive straight now which is fantastic uh, got a nice road trip coming up so fingers crossed it all goes well but yeah thank you ever so much for watching take care we'll catch you in the next one